Hi, I'm Ken Sheldon. Over the years, I've had the chance to be in a number of productions with the Peterborough Players. The first was in 1992, the Players' production of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. I was one of the Proteans. These are characters that appear throughout the play in a number of different roles. I do not appear in this photo from the show as I was dressed in a full body leotard and any photos of me are now being kept in a secure location in New Mexico because they're hazardous to the public health. My performance in that show was so good that I was not invited back to the player's stage until 1996, which coincidentally was Gus and Keith's first season, so blame them. The play was The Matchmaker and I played a barber named Joe. It was the beginning of a long and successful career playing characters named Joe. In 2000, I was lucky enough to appear in Our Town with the wonderful James Whitmore. I played Undertaker Joe Stoddard. You can almost see me here in the wedding scene. Eight years later, I reprised the role of Joe Stoddard in another Peterborough Players production of Our Town. And as you can see in this shot of the wedding scene, I was able to move up two places in the choir. I guess seniority does count for something. In 2005, the players presented an amazing production of Inherit the Wind. I played the mayor, a character who isn't named in the script, but I'm pretty sure his name was Joe. As you can see, I was really developing my ability to stare wide-eyed at whoever was the focal character at the moment. This was also a personal milestone for me, as I was given actual words to speak. My first Shakespearean role came in the player's 2006 production of The Winter's Tale, and I played the First Lord. The First Lord is also unnamed, but I decided his name was probably Giuseppe. In this role, I had to walk, talk, and play the guitar. Not all at the same time, of course. My big break came in 2009 with the player's production of Heartbreak House by George Bernard Shaw. In its review of the show, the Wall Street Journal said that I gave a sharply and memorably drawn performance. Well, technically, it said, every member of Mr. Kaikonen's ensemble cast gives a sharply and memorably drawn performance. But I was part of the cast, right? Then for a number of years, I took a break from the main stage because I was busy doing my own show at the Players Theater in the off season. And I'll always be grateful to the Peterborough Players as the place where Frost Heaves was born. One of my favorite shows was the 2017 production of Arsenic and Old Lace. I played Mr. Gibbs, who very nearly meets his demise at the hands of the maiden aunts. As you can see, the cast took their jobs very seriously. And yes, Mr. Gibbs' first name was Joe. In 2019, I had a chance to be in the delightful Mornings at Seven, in which I played David Crampton, an overbearing, obnoxious husband who nevertheless has a very cool suit. It was a real thrill to join this all-star cast and expand my repertoire to include playing characters named David. Seriously though, thank you Peterborough players for letting me hang out with the cool kids. Thanks to my fellow actors for your kindness, friendship, and patience. And thank you if you ever came to a Peterborough Players show or helped out. Thanks for supporting this wonderful institution that means so much to our community. We are truly grateful.